Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Floriferous, the newest game coming from Pencil First Games. We've got our team of Steve Finn, Eduardo Baroff, and Clementine Campardu. Please excuse me if I mispronounced that. Uh, this is one to four players in about 20 minutes. A relaxing card game. Your garden awaits. Spend the afternoon in your floriferous garden. Relax while enjoying this elegant game of picking, pairing, and arranging flowers. Find joy in the abundance of nature. So, Pencil First has put out uh, a number of different games that have kind of a similar feel and a vibe. So I'm thinking of like Herbaceous and the Whatnot Cabin. And this seems to have uh, kind of the same vibe in that same sort of line there. It, it especially reminds me of uh, Herbaceous. And I have to assume that that's not completely uh, by chance. I would imagine that's slightly by design here. Okay, we've got the similar design team and theme. Here's our rule book. All right. We've got our objective. Score the most victory points by collecting flowers and pairing them with arrangement, desire, and bounty cards. Here we've got the game setup that says it is dependent on player count. It's played over three days, which is divided into which are divided into five rounds. Each round on their turn, Player moves one step through the garden, picking up a flower, arrangement, sculpture, or desire card. After all players have moved through the garden, the day ends and the players score the bounty cards. After three days, they sum their scores. The player with the most points wins. They talk about the different types of cards, other elements, and then they go into more detail about how the game plays out. Your turn consists of two actions. First, pick a card from the garden, and second, move your gardener pawn. And then it talks about those in more detail. They talk about the day end, cleanup and bounty cards, completing bounty cards, beginning a new day, and game end. When all players have completed the third day, the game is over. But before you score, you award the cup of tea to the player who has the most stones. So that's reminding me a little bit of the lemonade card in, in um, Herbaceous. There's also a competitive alternative if you want to have a more competitive experience. Many times, uh, you know, games, it said a relaxing game on the cover here. So maybe the base game is more of a relaxing, non-confrontational. But if you want to be more competitive, it looks like you have an alternate uh, option for that. All right. And then it shows you more detail about the final scoring, which is always appreciated. Um, quite a bit of uh, example on scoring. And then you've got the solo variant which is called the Pesky Guest, designed by Keith Mateka. And uh, he has done the solo modes for many of these games. And so it's nice to see kind of the team back together again, so to speak. All right, and they've got a lot of details about that. Also looks like you've got some nice flavor text here talking about the different uh, flowers and a nice reference on the back. All right, well, let's take a look at what else we have. We have some cardboard tokens, which I think are those stones that are going to... Uh, get you that card that we talked about, potentially. Let's look at our wooden components. We've got our little pawns, which for some reason I'm struggling to get open. There we go. They're all slightly different shaped. Yeah, they are. Okay. And we've got some screen printed flowers it looks like you can see the different player colors they are screen printed on one side those are very nice i think that would also help for color blindness there are different patterns on those flowers so that's also good to see we've got some cards here we've got some mini cards and some standard size cards so let me struggle my way through this packaging, which should not be a struggle because it is made to open easily. I'm just struggling with it. Oh. These might be the solo cards, the pesky guest. I'm betting that's what these are. Okay. Um, makes sense to me. Let's look at the rest of the cards here. More of the mini-sized. 
The art on this is quite pretty. Got our little bee there. Butterflies and bugs. That art is gorgeous. That is something that uh, I would say has been kind of part of the model for these pencil first games. They usually have really, really gorgeous looking art. Let's take a look at these standard size cards where you can see the art a little bit bigger. Okay. A very kind of pretty watercolor-esque art. Very, very appealing to the eye. Lilies and mums and poppies and tulips. Daisies. Very, very nice. Got some player aid cards here. There's our cup of tea for gathering the most stones. All right, well, one last thing I'm going to show off here very quickly is that uh, this edition came with a mini expansion called Early Spring. I do not know if that's going to be something that is available retail or not, but since it's just a few cards, I figured I would show that off while we're here. Right. April showers bring May flowers, and they talk about how it is changed within the game, some clarifications, but just a way to kind of change the game up a little bit, add a little bit of variety to it if you've played it quite a bit and wanted to try something that changed things up just a little bit. All right, well, a game I am definitely interested in checking out. I've liked others in the line. That is Floriferous. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.